Hey everyone, this is Alan here, your faculty member for the paper AAA Advanced Audit and Assurance. And this video is to discuss about the changes that the AAA paper will be undergoing from the coming September 2022 exam onwards. Well, basically we know that when it comes to the paper AAA, we used to have 96 marks as descriptive area and 4 marks as professional marks. And basically the 4 marks professional marks were tested as part of the 50 marks question. However, from now onwards, the whole exam structure will be different. You will be having 80 marks as descriptive area and 20 marks for professional marks. And unlike the earlier exams, this 20 marks professional marks will be spread across the whole paper, which means it will be there for the 50 marks areas and the professional mark will also be there for both 25 marks areas as well. So this professional mark will be split on the basis of four major criteria. And these criteria includes the communication skill, analysis and evaluation skill, skepticism and judgment of the student, and the commercial acumen of the student will also be tested as part of your professional marks. So let's discuss about each of these elements. So first one is the communication. So basically, when it comes to your 50 marks question, always the examiner requires the student to provide a briefing note. A briefing note to the audit partner to explain about the email that you have already received. So basically, when you write a briefing note, well, you have to focus on multiple areas, such as you have to focus on the format of the briefing note, you have to focus on the introduction part, conclusion part, the content of the briefing note, the way in which you have uh, interpreted each of the things that have been requested by your audit partner and so on. So the first professional mark will be allocated on the basis of this communication skill. So basically the examiner will be evaluating the formats, the way in which you have communicated things, the flow of language and things to provide you the professional mark in the area of communication. The second one is the analysis and evaluation area. So basically when you get a scenario, you have to find out what the examiner actually intends about the scenario. And you have to apply both the accounting standards as well as the auditing standards into the scenario and then you will be explaining the things within the scenario. So the marks will be allocated for your analysis and evaluation as well. So basically the examiner will be considering about the way in which you have taken up a scenario, the way in which you have applied the knowledge that you have to the scenario and the way in which you have interpreted the things. Then again, things will be based on skepticism and judgment. When it comes to the paper AAA, there are multiple areas where a student has to use or an examinee has to use his professional judgment. When it comes to the 50 marks area, the examiner will be asking you to find out the significant risk from the scenario. So basically, when it comes to a scenario, you will be having multiple risk. Some might be significant, some might not be much significant. So it is your judgment and it is your skepticism on the basis of which you will be trimming down, you will be filtering the total risk and picking up the most significant one from the scenario. So when you pick out the most significant one from the scenario, you must also provide the reason why you have selected that one as a significant risk and you will be getting professional marks with that. So that is something called skepticism and judgment. Then. Finally, commercial acumen. Basically, you will be getting the real life scenarios. The scenarios which are based on public companies, private companies, scenarios which matches with the real world scenarios. So when it comes to the commercial acumen, the examiner will be asking you to pick out the business risk from the scenario, maybe in the area of 50 marks. So when you pick up a business risk, you should clearly figure out the business risk that is applicable for the given scenario. Say for example, if you are getting a question on Allen company and the examiner is asking you to find out the business risk in relation to the Allen company. So whatever may be the business risk that you are figuring out should be based on the specific industry in which the Allen company works, should be based on the specific criteria on the basis of which the Allen company works, should be based on whether the Allen company is a public company, private company, whether it's a profit making organization or whether it's a not for profit organization and so on. So all these considerations should be taken up by a student and on the basis of that, he should be providing answers to the examiner. 
So this is what will be tested as part of your commercial acumen. So these are the four basic areas on the basis of which you will be getting your professional marks. And we will just do one thing. We will look at a specimen exam which will be tested from this September 2022 exam onwards. So basically when it comes to your exam, as you can see over here, so you will be having 225 marks question and 150 marks question. And the examiner will be including 10 marks as professional marks in your 50 marks question and another two five marks for the 25 marks area as well. So in total 20 marks of professional marks. So this is the first question. That's your first 50 marks question. As usual, the examiner have asked you to uh, prepare a briefing note which needs to be provided to the audit partner and he also given you all the related requirements. So 125 my question on the basis to find out the significant audit risk in this particular scenario then one five more question to find out the audit procedures principal audit procedures that you have to perform another 10 marks for uh, your ethics area and in addition to this the examiner have provided you a note over here that your professional marks will be in total of 10 marks and that will be awarded on the basis of your demonstration of skill in communication analysis and evaluation professional skepticism and judgment and commercial acumen so if you have used and demonstrated these skills in this particular question then you will be getting a professional marks of 10 marks and that professional marks will be purely be allocated on the basis of the criteria that we have explained earlier and again we have got another 25 marks question here so in this 25 marks that the session b question number one which is the 25 mark question there also the examiner have asked the student to find out 20 marks question that is based on planning and performance of a uh, reverse company which is a quality control question and here the examiner have clearly mentioned that the professional mark over here will be demonstrated on the basis of analysis and evaluation professional skepticism and judgment commercial acumen so as you can see over here here the examiner will not be considering your communication hit instead the examiner will be testing only your analysis and evaluation skill professional skepticism and judgment and commercial acumen so mark will be awarded on the basis of that and again we have got another 25 marks question and in this 25 mark question again the examiner is providing you with five marks as professional marks and they have asked you to demonstrate the skills of analysis and evaluation professional skepticism and judgment Again, here also the examiner is not testing your communication skill, so you will not be getting any marks or you will not be any losing on marks on the basis of your communication skill when it comes to the professional marks. And when it comes to the answering pattern, as you can see over here, in the 50 marks question, as we have seen earlier, we were getting 10 marks as professional marks. And for the communication, in order to score marks for communication, you have to demonstrate these skills, which means you have to properly provide the briefing notes, formats and structure, then style, language and clarity of your answers will be tested. Then the, your communications effectiveness and clarity will be tested. Again, the audit engagement partner might have given you specific requests with regarding the briefing note. So you have to incorporate that also within your briefing note. So for all these following factors, you will be getting marks in the area of communication. Again, when it comes to the analysis and evaluation part, appropriate usage of the suitable calculations, which means you might be calculating certain ratios and things, so that will be considered. Then uh, your supporting discussions will be considered, your conclusions will be considered here. Again, your prioritization of the risk will be considered here, and your balanced discussion of information with whatever will be the recommendations or decisions you have provided, that will also be considered. Again, when it comes to the professional skepticism and judgment areas, there you will be uh, incorporating several skills in relation to the effective challenging of the information supplied, which means you might have received a scenario where we have got a very big scenario. On the basis of that scenario, you must be challenging, which means you must be questioning the factors provided there. Then you have to calculate the materiality and have to interpret that. Then you will be um, applying professional judgment in the areas to draw conclusions and to find out the significant risk and related things so marks will be awarded on the basis of that as well and very finally your commercial acumen will be tested which means well you are getting a scenario over here so while using the scenario you must be thinking from the perspective of that company itself 
So while writing the audit procedures, you have to consider all the happenings that have the company gone through of the year and you must be selecting and providing the appropriate audit procedures purely on the basis of the scenario and on the basis of the specific company. Again, you must be using several examples or calculations in order to support your recommendations or points. So you'll be getting marks for that. And very finally, the audit firm's commercial considerations will also be considered while providing your answers. And all this will be considered as part of the 10 marks as professional marks. The same way, the things will also be tested in the other 225 marks area as well. So this is how the examiner will be evaluating the professional marks and you will be getting 20 marks as professional marks in total. So literally which means that the exam might get more easier for us because till the date we used to have 96 marks for descriptive area. So we need to write a lot in order to score these 96 marks. However, from now on, you will be having only 80 marks as the descriptive area. So you only want to write down the answers for these 80 marks. So rest of the marks will be purely be based on the way in which you will be presenting each of these answers. So we will be discussing about the way in which we need to appear for the exam. We will be practicing a lot of questions. We will be practicing mock exams in our real class. We will be starting our classes from the 28th of this month. So you can join with us for the classes in XMS Learning Media. All the very best guys and see you in class. Thank you so much. All the best for your coming exams as well. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.